Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day today. And in today's video, we are going to be going through my January favorites. Now, I will admit that uh, going through these items, there are not there are not many. Okay, I'm just I'm just going to be honest with you. I was I was kind of a creature of habit um, this past month, and I reached for the same, uh, you know, like seven ish products over and over again. I'm not going to sit here and ramble on and on. Okay, this video is going to be zippy because I said so, and also because I have like five more Dove chocolates that are just like burning a hole in my pocket, and I want to eat them so bad. Okay, I'm like I'm craving a craving all the chocolate okay right now and I just want to eat them but I also know that if I try to eat them while I film I'm gonna end up with all the chocolate on my teeth so I'm gonna do this let's just get into it okay uh, but oh yeah real quick too before we do that I know I just said it's gonna be zippy and it is hear me out um, number one if you haven't done so yet make sure you subscribe turn on your post notifications before you leave because if you're new hello I put up three new videos a week Monday Wednesday Friday usually right around like 7 7 30 ish a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan and I'm not gonna lie and say like sometimes things don't happen or like sometimes my internet doesn't work and the uploads don't happen okay I'm still bitter about this last week mm. but um you know for the most part three new videos a week subscribe before you leave post notifications all the good things oh and then also too before you go make sure you follow me on Instagram I'll have that link down below I am still trying to hit 10,000 I actually just crested 7,000 and you guys I about died I was so excited um so make sure you follow me there everything like I said is linked down below everything I talk about Instagram all the good things but over there um if you're not sure like what kind of content I do upload a ton there is a plus size fashion there's reels makeup IGTV videos stuff like that then I also hang out a ton in my IG story. So if you're looking for like behind the scenes, day to day, that's definitely the place to find me is again over on Instagram. Everything will be linked down below. But with that done, okay, with this, with all this, you know, intro business done, let's get into my first product. We're actually going to start off with my first skincare item. And this one, you guys, it has taken me by storm. I've been using it for like a month, month and a half ish now. And that is this little guy from L'Oreal. This is the L'Oreal Revita Lift 10% Pure Vitamin C Concentrate. And this stuff is so freaking good. You guys, let me just, okay, let me just break it down. I actually, where did I hear about this? Was this on Rach Loves, maybe, I want to say? I heard it from a YouTuber, anyways, talking about it. I was like, oh, wow, that sounds really great. It sounds like it's doing all these good things, but it probably won't work for me. Like, I automatically disregarded it. And that's why I heard her say that it was actually a 10% pure vitamin C concentrate. And all of a sudden, you, I grabbed my phone so fast, I backed it up, and I was like, okay, I'm listening. What did you just say? Because I've never found or really never heard any, like, good reviews of anything that had that high of a percentage in it, at least not, like, in the, you know, what I'm watching on the internet and stuff. And so, and I'm not saying that there's not like other 10%, you know, type concentrates out there. I'm not saying that, but I had just never heard somebody really rave about them because what I find, at least in my experience with like vitamin C concentrates and stuff like that, when they start increasing the percentage, a lot of times people complain, like if you read reviews and stuff, they say that it, you know, breaks down their skin or it dries them out or they start having like weird reactions to it. And so this was like not only one of the first times I've ever heard about this percentage being offered in this type of a product, but it was also the first time that I had heard a review of something that was so strong be so positive but anyways moral of the story okay is that I was super super freaking skeptical going into this and just because again never have I had much luck with it and you guys I have been loving it I use it every single day morning and night and it is amazing it doesn't dry out my skin I've noticed great refinement over my texture right through here even the pores that I have like on my nose right through here you guys know I, I talk about it I complain about it all the time okay I got these big ass beefy ass man pores all up on this nose they are huge they are craters and I feel like since I have started using using this, not only have I noticed, again, that pore refinement through here, I've noticed it on my nose, all of this area through here has been better, even my fine lines around my eyes have been, you know, a little bit less noticeable, which, I mean, for me, my fine lines around my eyes, like, I don't really have any issues at all when it comes to fine lines and wrinkles, because I feel like, um, I, I kind of view them as, like, a sign that I've laughed and I've lived, and that I, I just, I, for me, I look at wrinkles a little different, especially up in this area, but I've just noticed using this product, all that being said, I have noticed that my skin overall does have a better, more refined look with the texture and the fine lines and all of that and I have just been really really loving it. I just want to say too I, I loved this so much so quickly that I got to like right here like I'd been maybe using it for a week I would say seven to ten days and I already went out and I bought another bottle of it because I don't want to be without it like that's the that's the level of difference that I noticed that quickly. I also love too oh my god I didn't even mention the fact that it's like vitamin C obviously it's going to help to like fade um you know like redness hyperpigmentation stuff like that like if you have like me older acne scars I I have noticed all the redness in this area on both sides of my cheeks really going down. Um, and I think it's because of this. I think that the vitamin C is really penetrating and it's just, it's doing such good things for my skin. All right, now getting into the makeup, I think I've talked about this one a fair amount, but I don't think I've ever put it in a favorites video. And that would be the new Lancome Lash Idol Mascara. And I, again, I don't remember if I've talked about this in a 
favorites. I don't think I have, but you guys, this mascara is so freaking good. Like if I haven't said it, I feel like I probably should be because I have been using this for the last, what, like month and a half, maybe two-ish months. I got it right after it released and um, I have been using it. Like I know it was just in a video uh, testing new makeup. Actually, a bunch of this was in a video testing new makeup. I'll link it up here, but I didn't use it on camera for you guys until then. But previous to that, I'd been using it for quite some time. And this mascara really surprised me because I didn't expect, um, to, if I'm being honest, I didn't expect to love it as much as I do because the way it has like these little short stubby rubber bristles, typically right from the jump, I don't like these kind of bristles. They don't work. They don't give me a lot of fullness, but the magical part about this mascara, and I think the reason that it works so well for me is because it gives me a fantastic amount of length. Like it draws the mascara through beautifully, but at the same time, the formula builds on itself really nicely as well. So if you're someone like me and you want that length, but you also want like a little bit of volume, you want it at the base and you really, you just want them to look nice and smooth, but still thicker and longer. I just, I feel like this is such a fantastic mascara. I just wanted to mention it. And now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure I said all of this in that video that I'm talking about where I used it on camera for the first time. Um, so I'm not going to keep going, but I just wanted to mention it. This mascara is absolutely beautiful and it's totally not my normal go-to for mascara, but like, bitch, I'm converted. Okay. I love it. All right. So next up is an item that I'm sure you all saw coming. If you've been watching any of my videos for the past month, and that is none other than the Wet n Wild Incognito Concealer. You guys, this freaking concealer is life. And I tested this out in like testing new makeup or new drugstore makeup. I'll link it up here. This concealer has taken my world by storm. When I tell you, I have not used, I, I think in the last month, I have used this almost every single day, like filming. It, it doesn't matter what I'm doing. I wanna use it for something. I use it for concealer, for my eyelid primer, for carving out my eyebrows. Like it is just such a fantastic texture. It is so thin and lightweight, but it also gives a beautiful texture. And I would say more of a soft matte. I actually have a swatch of it right here because I was, I was playing with it because I just love the way it feels. It's so, so silky. But the look of it when it dries down is just so beautiful. Again, it has more of like that soft matte. So when you apply it to the under eye, it doesn't really like dry down and make me look like crepey or textured or anything like that. But it just gives me the most softened kind of look. Like it's not luminous and moves all over the place, but it's also not stiff. It's just like right in the middle. Again, love the texture. The coverage is more, um, I would say on like a medium ish coverage, like you do get a nice amount out of it. Um, and it is buildable, which is nice, but it's not like that full on crazy, like cake me out, cancel everything kind of coverage either. So really it's just super duper flexible. Like no matter what you want, if it's that build, if it's the coverage aspect, if you want it to be more of a light face shape, you can sheer it out for that as well. And this shade, by the way, I've been using is in shade fair. And this is the perfect, perfect freaking color for me. It has the best undertone. It's light, but not too light. And I think at this point I've used what probably I would say like almost the entire bottle. Like when I do this, I'm actually scraping the edge. That's how much I've used. Just overall, it's a fantastic concealer. Highly recommend. I think it's what, like five or $6. And I will definitely, definitely be repurchasing this. Oh my God. It is so, oh, it's so good. So Mm, so good. And by the way, if you try this, please let me know. Or if you've tried it and you're also in love, please, please, please let me know down below because I, I need to know if I'm the only one obsessed. I just think this is such, such a fantastic drugstore find. Like Wet n Wild killed it with this, okay? They killed it. This is like next level. Like how I was talking about the um, e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder, this guy right here that I use all the time, which by the way, speaking of using it all the time, I used it in this video. I just got done filming. For you, it would have been Monday's video where I did a, a video testing makeup I never tested. I'll link it up here. And that's just a video I know that the title sounds kind of weird, but it's where I go back through and I test out makeup that I never tested on camera. So if you're curious, I actually used like the M Cosmetics. This is their Daydream Cushion. I used some stuff from KVD Vegan Beauty because I wanted to test out their formulas. Um, this Becca Hydrate and Refresh Powder, the Sigma like face palette, stuff like that. But anyways, moral of the story, okay? If you want to know anything else, check down below or check that video. But um, I, I was talking about in today's video how I was using this powder because it has such a beautiful refinement to it and it just looks so gorgeous. And it has such a luxurious high-end feel. Like what it does and the way that it smooths over the skin, it's just, it's amazing that this product is so good for the price. And that's exactly how I feel about this concealer. I just, I think it's so good. The, the texture, the smooth, the blend, everything on it is fantastic. And uh, yeah, highly recommend, highly recommend. If you haven't tried this, get on it. It's great. All right, so you remember at the start of the video how, at least I think I mentioned, I've been pretty basic for this last month. Like I've just been reaching for the same over and over and over. Like I just, I haven't really had a desire to 
of mix things up. Uh, yeah, that, that's where we're going to insert these next uh, one, two, three, four products, all of which are for Buxom. You guys, this white Russian launch that they had, oh, it is just, oh my God. Okay, I am a freaking obsessed. I'm going to go ahead and I'll actually start off with, you know what? No, I'm going to start off with this face palette. You guys, this face palette freaking rocked my socks. I think this is so good. I have used it every single day, like day in and day out, mixing both of these blushes and even adding on this shimmer right here. This is the Wanderlust Glow Highlighter in White Russian. I'm sorry, my bad. I want to make sure I get all the names right. Um, but the two of these together for blush, like mixing these, draping this over top, it is so freaking gorgeous. These have such an amazing texture to them. I'm just, I am diehard obsessed. And even these shadows, are you kidding me? Every single day, guys, every single day, this is what I'm putting on my lids. Whether it's just like a real quick something through the crease, the shimmer all over the lid, it doesn't matter. Or if I'm even just coming in here, I've used the Take a Dip right here. It's like a lighter beigey pink shade. I'll use that really quick just to like go all over the lid with, maybe throw a little sparkle as like a light little faux wing. Um, and then I'm still done. Like this, this palette for me has just been everything because the textures are beautiful, whether again, it's on the face or the eyes, it doesn't matter. Everything blends like a dream. Like for me, this is just the standout of how I think basic should be done. Like I think that nowadays, like with neutral palettes and pinky neutrals and stuff like that, a lot of times things like this can get a bad rap because they're just so basic, but no, okay, just absolutely not take that right out your mouth because this is it done right. This is a neutral palette that is so easy to use, so blendable. It refines your cheeks and it really does. Like these blushes over top of your cheek, oh my God, like if you have texture, oh bitch. Okay, they're like a blush and a finishing powder in one. They look so nice and so smooth. I am freaking obsessed. Same with this glowy illuminator situation. I think that this is absolutely stunning. Now this one I have mentioned, the glowy illuminator, um, in that video, how it is a little bit too deep for my skin tone to use it as a highlighter, but taking this and just very gently kind of veiling over the tops of the cheeks, oh my God, it is so good. And it acts more of like a luminous kind of blush topper. And I think it looks really great when I just very lightly kind of do it with like a fluffy brush because it gives me this beautiful glow and sheen to the cheek without having to do anything like over the top. Like it's a very effortless pinky kind of glow and I just, I freaking love it. And then also from that same video and the same uh, launch here, Buxom came out with both of these. Now this one is technically not the white Russian gloss that they relaunched. This is actually their BFF full on plumping lip polish. And this is in the shade Wing Woman, but this is what I picked up at the same time as all of this. And you guys, I have been wearing this nonstop. It is so gorgeous. The color, the shine. It's really for me, one of those glosses, like it's, it's a perfect purse gloss because it always has the most effortless, neutral kind of sheen. Even like I just did, you can pop it on without even having to look because it's so effortless. The color's beautiful. It gives the nicest amount of like shine and glint and glimmer. And I mean, obviously I'm already obsessed with Buxom stuff anyways, like their lip products. Okay, chef's kiss, amazing. Um, and this is just, this This is no exception. So I had to give it a shout out. Again, I've talked about their glosses a billion times, but this is so, so beautiful. And then of course, last but not least, you guys, and when I say last but not least, do not, do not you dare, okay? Do not you dare disrespect this lipstick this is their full force plumping lipstick in the shade white Russian. Why do I keep looking like I haven't used this? Look at look at this little lipstick and tell me I haven't used it 77,000 times in the last month. You guys, this lipstick is so freaking gorgeous and it's no secret, okay? I'm like already obsessed with this formula that they have, the full force. I think it is so good. I use them all the time. I've got like five shades in this line. And by the way, I need all of them because the formula is so, so good. It's like satin, it's creamy, it's comfortable. It feels amazing on the lips. And I just, like again, formula, 10 out of 10, love it. But this color, there's something so special about this shade. And I think actually, last time I saw on the Ulta website, I think it was sold out. And again, I'll have everything linked that I can, and I will do my best. If this isn't still at Ulta, I will try to find it for you somewhere, okay? Some other website should have it because it's just so freaking gorgeous, you guys. This light, pale pinky shade. And also, can we talk about, if you've been here for like any real length of time before the last month, you know, I'm not like a huge pinky, pale pinky lip kind of girl. Like, I've always been neutral browns and warm toned browns and nudes and stuff like that on the lips, but almost never is it a pale pinky kind of moment for me. But this lipstick, this lipstick, it changed it for me, okay? It just changed who I am. It changed me as a person because it is just so gorgeous. Like everything about it, I don't know why I would put this on after the gloss, but you know what? Hey, what the hell? It's my channel. I'll do what I want. These are my lips, okay? And I'll pink them up if I want to. And by the way, on camera, it's not going to look much different than what I already had because I had on like a, a pale pink um, lip from the video I already filmed. But there's just something so beautiful and so effortless about about this pink. Like if you want to go in um, and do a darker, oh my God, lately I've been so into this, a darker like nude lip line, even like a brown
brown nudie lip is fine. And then putting this in the center, blending it out. Oh my God. It will just, oh, it transforms the lips. If you want to do again, all pink, if you want to put it just in the center as a little pop, whatever you want to do with this, it works great. Full glam days, natural days, sheer it out. Doesn't matter. This pink is so, oh my God. It's so freaking perfect. Okay. Hold on. I don't want to get nothing on Miss Shania. Okay. Shania needs to remain intact. So I can't have no lipstick smearing her in the face. So next up, we're going to talk about these dazzle sticks. You guys, these are from KVD Vegan Beauty. And I can't remember which video was it in the same one as the buxom or a different, I don't know. I talked about these in a video, wherever it is, I'll have it linked up above, but you guys, these freaking dazzle sticks are so gorgeous. I've been using them day in and day out, whether I do a cut crease, whether they're by themselves, even if I just want to take like a little bit on like a, a fine little liner brush and do like a little flick, I've been using them for everything and they are stunning. Okay. These are the two shades that I have. The silver one is thundercloud. And then the other one, this one is flash storm. And so silver cloud is definitely more of like a silvery kind of base with multicolored glitter throughout. And then this one, the brownish toned one is more of like, um, and I think you can kind of see it when I reflect it. It has like a really strong blue silver kind of glitter that's like nestled into it. And it just reflects stunning on the eyes. Now I will say for these in terms of texture, okay, there's, there's kind of a learning curve. These are a very, very soft formula. I actually personally only roll them up like a teeny little bit. And then I apply them with my finger. Like I do a tap tap and then I apply it to my lid this way. Um, or you can do it with a brush. I just prefer a finger because I feel like it helps really press the product onto my eyelids. I've heard reports and like read reviews online that um, a lot of people don't love the formula because it is so like malleable that they notice, you know, it squishes really easily, stuff like that. But I think that with application, if you're just a little bit more mindful, again, taking your finger, doing this, that makes a huge difference right off the bat. And also too, I've had some questions back when I used it and I've even read this in some reviews as well that uh, people notice that they have glitter fallout, like a lot of glitter fallout with these. And I'm going to say, I don't notice that for myself. Like, yes, I might end up with a couple little flakes under my eyes, but it's nothing to where it's been like an egregious amount of fallout where it just like rained all day or anything. Um, so for me, I personally haven't experienced that and I've never used them with like a glitter glue or anything because for me, the formula, like th this right here was always sturdy enough to last on my eyelids, but they're absolutely fantastic. Wanted to give it a shout out. I know it's again, a little bit controversial because not everybody loves them. Some people hate them, whatever, but like, I have freaking loved these so beautiful. Oh my God, so beautiful. All right, so next up, you guys, I have a product. And this one, I'm just gonna admit, I am very, very stubborn. And I had no intention of loving this nearly as much as I do because the entire internet said they loved it, okay? That was like the beginning of the end. Everybody loved it. It went viral and everybody was like, oh my God, you need it. It's the next best thing. And ever since I heard that, right, I was like, no, okay, I'm not gonna hype this thing up. It's probably not true. The internet lies. Like, I don't, I don't know why I would say that, okay? I'm on the internet. But you guys, I have to admit when I'm wrong, okay? I have to admit when my stubborn little chunk ass has to sit in front of you, and be dead ass honest with the world. And I just, I'm obsessed with this. Okay. This is the NYX marshmallow primer and I, I love it so much. I have used this almost every single day. I would say I'm up to about like here somewhere. I mean, you can't see on the container, but I can kind of feel, you know, and I'm, I'm right in this area somewhere, but this primer is so freaking great. Let me give you guys a little hint. Okay. Let me, let me break this down. If you have been here for like really any length of time, you know that my favorite, like my go-to day in day out primer is what? Okay. My Tatcha liquid soap canvas. Well, in the month, or however long it's been since I tested this primer, um, I did not use this. Not one time. Not one time. Well, no, I take that back. Maybe one time if I was like testing out like a foundation or something, but other than that, okay, it has been just this primer day in and day out because I love the texture of it, the way that it like smooths over my skin, especially through here. I think too, with this one, it gives such a nice balance between, um, like, I don't know what I think I'm going to show you <laughs> with a swatch of a primer that you can't see. Um, but with this one, it has such a beautiful balance. And I think what I like about it is that, uh, very similar to the Tatcha one, it balances like a refinement where I feel like my pores are nice and smooth and the, the texture of my skin overall is smooth, but it's also not like leaning me too far in a hydrating direction or in a matte direction. So when I lay it down and let it just like sink into my skin, you can see right here, it's almost more of like a light satiny sheen. And that's the level of not only sheen, but also smoothness that I get from this. And I just think it is so, so freaking stunning. Also, I just went onto the Ulta website to make sure I wasn't missing anything because I'll sit here and just like repeat the same six things 
things over and over again because that's just when, when I'm excited about something I just I get I get a little bit too involved like I'm too close to the subject and uh, so I wanted to pull up the claims and see like what it's actually specced at and it says that this is a 10 in 1 smoothing super primer um, that's infused obviously with marshmallow root extract and blah 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 and it says that with the super soft whipped texture which oh my god is it whipped more bitch it is whipped to perfection it's like a cool whip whipped okay it's so nice um that it dries down totally transparent works on all skin tones and it is a primer that smooths softens extends makeup wear for 16 hours it hydrates it soothes it evens out your skin tone minimize texture totally agree blurs lines yes now i do want to real quick address the elephant in the room and by elephant bitch i mean the fat ass price tag okay attached to this thing it retails for 17 dollars, and i don't know why like for, for some reason okay hear me out i feel like drugstore like we have a really large range when it comes to drugstore pricing i've seen drugstore stuff that's up in the 20 dollars all the way down to you know the essence and the elf which is like you know one two three dollars right in there right and so i feel like yes drugstore can span multiple price ranges but there was something about this being $17 that I was just like, damn, like that's that's kind of expensive. Like I, I feel like I've gotten high-end stuff that's in the $17 range. You know what I mean? My point in saying all of this is that if you, like me, saw the price on this and you're just like, bitch, no way. Like I'm not paying $17 for a drugstore primer. I get you. Okay. I took this in and out of my cart probably seven or eight times before I actually committed to purchasing it. And I barely made it in under the wire. Okay. Before this thing like sold out everywhere and it went super viral because I hemmed and hawed for so long because of the price. So believe me when I tell you, I get you. Like, I understand the reservation. And I'm going to make a big claim here. And some people on the internet might disagree with me. And that's totally fine. Everybody's allowed to have their own opinion. But, like, this is a $17 drugstore primer that I would absolutely purchase again. Now, I also want to say, this is the part that gets me really excited. If you are like, you know what? I really would love to try it, but I don't want to commit to $17 or whatever. Like, or what if I don't like it? That's a lot of primer to go to waste, right? Um, you can also now, on the Ulta website, buy a mini of the same primer here, the Marshmallow Primer, for $8. Now, I will say, okay, obviously, when it comes to minis, the value isn't as good. So you're paying $8 for 0.27 fluid ounces, which is like right about a quarter of this product, like what you'd get in here for $17. So you are definitely paying, again, way more if you factored it in per ounce. I just want to throw it out there because, like, you know, obviously dropping $8 is a little bit easier than dropping $17, which is great. And that much product, again, even though it's only a quarter of this, it's still going to last you a really long time because a little bit goes a long way. Very similar to what I've actually said in the past about the Tatcha one, how you really only need like one pump of it um, to make it like go over your entire face, smooth everything out. And I feel the same way about this one. And obviously I'll have both of them linked down below. If you want to check out the full size or the mini, everything will be linked down below. Um, but I just, I definitely think it's worth it. Now I will say too, the only other thing, obviously the other one isn't as great of a value. This one does come with a pump. So keep that in mind. If a, if a pump is important to you, I know like 90% of people probably don't care. I, because I use it every day and I just kind of dove in with it. I really like it. I like having a pump. It's simple. It's clean. I don't have to deal with losing that damn little cap, which we all know I'm going to lose. Hell, I lost the cap on this one. Um, so I know I would lose that one. But uh, yeah, I just like it. I do prefer the packaging of this. But again, that also comes with the higher price point. But with all of that, you guys, that is officially the end of my January favorites. Don't forget to leave me all of yours down below, whether it is makeup, hair care, skin care, whatever you have been loving, drop it in the comments. And of course, too, let me know, have you tried out any of these? Do you love them? Do you hate them? What are your thoughts on the products I talked about? Because I love, love hearing from you guys especially when it comes down to makeup that like you're passionate about either if you love it or you really hate it like either way I just I love talking to you guys because I find that so many of you are like me like when you really love something like oh my god you will go so hard for a product and I am the exact same way like I will go to the mattresses on something I love or you know go against the mattresses if it's something I hate and I just love talking to you so make sure you leave me again everything down below whether it's the video my products your products whatever you got drop it in the comments and don't forget to like I said at the start of the video I will have all of this linked down below everything I'm wearing linked down below um you know necklaces all the good things I'll link everything that I can and uh, check out Monday's video or where I applied all of this if you haven't I'll have that linked in the cards don't forget to subscribe turn on your post notifications all the good things follow me on Instagram of course and you guys I think that that is everything thank you all so so much for watching please don't forget to have an amazing day night weekend whatever it is when you're watching this and I'll see you in the next one bye <laughs> does that mean it's time for a piece of chocolate I think it does I think I've earned my chocolate my chocolate my chocolate my chocolate my chocolate, my chocolate, my chocolate. Hey. But I've earned my piece of chocolate. It's a dove milk chocolate. <laughs> I will say, okay, it's been sitting in my pocket getting kind of melty. So the texture is like fantastic. Oh my God. Chef's kiss. Amazing. Wow, Paige. Where did that chocolate go? <laughs> what chocolate? <laughs> you mean the one that's definitely not stuck all over my teeth? Okay. We're not going to talk about it.
because I have like four more left to go. Haha, <laughs> bitch, two, two, gotta grab one. I am not playing no games, okay? I came to win and I came to eat this here chocolate. And if you don't get to win any chocolate, then bitch, I wanna lose, because is that where the chocolate is? I wanna be winning, losing circle. I just wanna be in the one with the chocolate, okay? I don't wanna talk about it.